dear colleagues, welcome. My name is Nectaria Papadopoulou and I am endocrinologist from Athens, Greece. In the following three to five minutes, I would like to share with you our experience from our study regarding osteoporosis and osteostrom. Osteoporosis is a chronic disease characterized by low mineral density of the bone and deterioration of its microarchitecture. It is associated with sarcopenia and other chronic diseases as well as high bone fracture risk. Osteostrom is a strengthening method that is based on osteogenic loading for 12-minute sessions every week. Our study was conducted at URI and uh, we included 140 postmenopausal women with osteoporosis of the lumbar spine. These women were divided in two groups. The first group was subdivided into other groups, those with medication and those without medication along with osteostrom. And the second group included women who had either anti-osteoporotic medication but no exercise or women who had no medication at all. The results are the following. In the first group with no medication and only intervention with osteostrom, both BMD and T-score were statistically significant increased. In the second group of the group A, where the people had a osteoporotic medication and intervention with osteostrom, had statistically significant increased BMD and T-score. The other group, the control group, that included people who had anti-osteoporotic medication in its first subdivided group showed the significant efficacy of anti-osteoporotic medication. This was expected, but the other group, as was also expected, showed that we had only deterioration of BMD. These results showed that osteostrom has a significant effect on increased BMT in people with osteoporosis and it can be also synergistic with anti-osteoporotic medication when we believe that it must be given to our patient. Osteostrong is a new physical method, no use of medications, against osteoporosis. It's an impressive method in my opinion because in only 12 minutes a week, using different organs and exerting pressures in uh, vulnerable bones, such as the bones of the spine or of the hips. I consider this initially uh, hard to believe, but uh, it was uh, shown in a recent study, 12 minutes a week, bone density increases without any medications. Bone is a live tissue. It's not a stone. It has cells that respond to both pulling and pushing. And osteostrom is a method that uses a certain amount of pressure, usually 4.2 times the body weight on the bones of the spine and the hip. 